Happy Thursday evening, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday Night Throwdown, brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons and all, and a court and a cast of assorted thousand lunatics. It is a pleasure to be with you. Now, I know what you're looking at. You're looking at this battlefield and saying, I don't see tanks. I don't see infantrymen with submachine guns. I don't see mortar bombs. I don't see any of that. I see a lot of things that look Napoleonic, and that's correct. You do. That is exactly what you see. Because our friend Vance is on a brief hiatus, and uh, we couldn't possibly go back to Kursk without him. So instead, and CT, well, we found him wandering the streets uh, you know, with a tin cup in his hand and a sign like a sandwich board saying, we'll game for food. <laughs> and not untrue and, and so we said well it's surely ct would want to come in and join us and try to play something that was actually suggested by red Sachs, which was you know we have we have from the beginning jumped in and played la salle 2 the set by sam mustafa I, I can't really call it new anymore it's been out for a while uh the 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 wonderful set of napoleonic rules that i'm very fond of and i know that the the crew here is we've we've always been playing these gigantic games uh we've played katra bra we're playing darlone's attack from waterloo but Red said, why don't we just play, you know, why don't you all play just one game with uh, maybe a couple brigades on a side and see how it plays? And I said, great. And in addition, I wanted to take an opportunity to try out some of the, uh, exper- the uh, not the experimental, the advanced rules. And so we're going to do that. But uh, before I do any of that, we're going to do a tweet. That's right. We're going to do a tweet. And I've chosen to call this particular scenario Over the Hills. Um, obviously, or the hills from uh, the, the famous 18th century soldier song, and of course also from Richard Sharp um, and the Sharp series. Because, but it's also because this particular scenario, at least as I've imagined it, and it's a fictional battle, takes place in the window of 1808-1809. It is taken from the uh, the La Salle II rulebook. In fact, it's the first scenario, but I've changed the uh, changed the location. It's now, we must imagine it, eh, somewhere in the Iberian Peninsula, I can't say where. But before we dive into the scenario, I want to talk about two of the rules that we're going to play with that you've not seen before, and by the way, the tweet is out, um, that you may not have seen before if you have played, if you've watched us play LaSalle. Uh, The first one pertains to these lovely little markers that are called Huzzah. You could make a huzzah marker into anything. I decided to make them into giant opalchenia. Because what to the Iron Chair Dragoons says huzzah more than oversized men with uh, bushy beards, fuzzy hats, pointy sticks, who reek of strange... <laughs> who, who reek of exotic vodka or other booze. And, and let me also say I have been remiss in not introducing formally our two players tonight. Playing on behalf of the French, it will shock no one. Our guy Ron Delanor, how are you? Of even of France. Yes. And playing the side of the Allies, the British, we have someone usually allied with him, but not tonight. We have the command tent. CT, how are you? Doing well. The sack is ready because, the... you know, he's on the other side this time. <laughs> yeah, his men are marched. His, that's what I should have had. Is Opal you Chitty. realize this is our jersey fight, right? <laughs> that's oh, right. That, that's true. And we have an honest to goodness jersey fight. We have, uh, we, <laughs> we have two different rules. And the first is Huzzah. Uh, huzzah is something that happens, and you're going to get one of those markers, if and when you break another unit in melee. And your unit has to be solely responsible for breaking it in melee. That's a that's an important point. You have to be the only unit who does it. And if you do that, you will get one of those markers. Uh, that And it goes for infantry and cavalry. After all combats are resolved, and you get to keep this marker right next to you, you get to do one of two things. You get to A, remove the moved status so that the unit is eligible to move again. You can get a second move. You could even get a breakthrough move. Or secondly, you may remove one disruption. You may not remove a permanent disruption but you may remove any temporary disruptions. So you may do either of those things if you get a, uh, a, a huzzah. All huzzah markers stay on throughout the turn until the marker phase, at which point they are removed. Does that make sense? Yep, I think that's so. interesting. I like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little extra tweak that Sam gave us. The bigger change, of course, is going to be in skirmishing. And I'm, I'm a no little... No dice mountains. You know, no, there will still be dice mountains. 
Well, there won't be because we don't have as many units, to be sure. Right. So there won't be quite as many dice mountains from that perspective. But we're going to use the alternative method of what happens. As as everybody who's watched our LaSalle 2 games know, you're going to roll a certain number of dice, and you are looking for sixes. And whoever rolls the most sixes gets to go first in the turn. But also, you get additional momentum for the difference. You know, it's uh, let's say the difference is four. You get one extra momentum for every two uh, that you win the skirmish roll by. No longer. This is no longer what happens. For every, for every point above, the, for every point of advantage, you get a voltageur, and that applies to both sides. What are the voltageurs? Well, they're right here. Here are some French voltageurs, and those are actual voltageurs. And I decided what would be a more appropriate British voltageur than the grasshoppers of the 95th Rifles. So for every point, you get one of those through the balance of the turn. What do you do with them? Well, what you get to do with them is you get to place them during the skirmishing phase on any enemy foot unit, which includes unlimbered artillery. And you must be able to draw a skirmish line to them. Only one per unit. And you may not save them. Anyone you lose, anyone you can't place in this phase is lost. This is a perfectly straight line, no longer than 16 inches from the center point of any of your unit that is skirmishing. So you can't do it to one that's in square or in column. To the center point of one enemy foot unit. It may not pass through a different enemy unit. And it must be traced to the front of that unit. It may also not come within two inches, this line, of any enemy cavalry. We know what cavalry does to skirmishers. Okay. What do they do? It depends on when you're going to place all these things. It affects the unit in different ways. Let us imagine that you are going to volley. If you volley and you have a voltageur, well, you get a downshift. If you're bombarding and you have a voltageur, downshift. This does not affect the secondary bombardment, the sixes. Only the preliminary target. A unit with a voltageur may not rally. He's got to get rid of it. When a unit with a voltageur wishes to move or change formation, and this is probably my favorite, the player who placed the voltageur gets to snipe at that unit with one die <laughs> against the unit's resolve. If, if, and again, this is moving or changing formation. If you beat its resolve, just like in the regular combat phase, you get a disruption. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And then, as they're used, they are removed. Just checking. And when we get to the marker step, they're removed. So that's it. Those are our, those are our two new rules. Any questions? No, yeah, no, no. I'm sure that they will come up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have the scenario in front of us, and it's, again, it's a very, very simple one. Uh, it's called Les avant gardes but I'm calling it Over the Hills. It's the small version, 250 points. And it's the opening days of a campaign, and they've sent their advanced guards forward to seize the crucial junction of this, this crucial road junction between these two villages. Um, along the bottom edge, we see that river. This is impassable, except at the bridge. There are three objectives, one at the bridge, and one in each of the towns, each worth one point. They belong to Team Red at the beginning of the game. Who is Team, who is team Red? Well, that would be the British. It's a 10-turn game, and we achieve sudden death when one-third of the units on either side are dead. So that's one-third. No earthworks for either side. We're going to be using random entry. We're going to talk about what that is. Um, and we're also going to be doing alternating setup. We'll talk about what that is. Uh, the baggage, 
must be placed by red in either A1 or B1. Let me turn this on because as you well know, I always hide it. A1 or B1. And our friends, the, uh, the French, they must place theirs in A6, B6, or C6. And you remember, once you place it, it's stuck there, so you're going to want to decide. What is the, uh, what, what does random entry mean? It means, do, 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 do. So now that you've seen that, map. turn the green back on. You are going to have to take a look at your brigades. And here's what, you, you're all familiar with this. You've played it before. This is a brigade. This is a brigade. And this is a brigade. So the French have three. One, two, three for the British. I gave both of you some army troops. The British have the 95th Rifles and this foot artillery. The French get this reserve artillery unit. Where did it go? Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, you get that reserve artillery. You can attach that to a brigade if you wish, or you can have it just sit by itself. It's up to you. But remember, if it's by itself, it can't move as part of a force. It becomes its own force. And uh, as you can well imagine, the uh, points for moving about are going to be a little more limited this time. So you're going to want to think about where you're assigning those. In addition, do, 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 do. that's what I wanted. Come on now. There we go. One third of your brigade, so in each case, one must be a reinforcement. How will we do reinforcements? Well, the first step of the status phase is for each player to roll for the entry of brigades. The side that issued the turn's final order must roll first and place his reinforcements before the other side does. You must roll a number of dice equal to the number of the current turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. If any of the dice show a six, then the reinforcement arrives. Otherwise, you're waiting. And you do this per brigade, but obviously in each case, you're only going to have one. All right. They can be placed within uh, eight inches of the outside edge anywhere in your setup area. They do not move onto the table. Just place them so that they're within eight inches of that outside edge. They do not move. Because remember, they come in later in the turn. They may not be placed within eight inches of the enemy. Infantry and cavalry must be in march formation. And artillery must be limbered. Ooh. That's their marching on the field, right? All right. So I guess with all that said, I will leave it to you gentlemen to place one of your brigades onto your board. I think that's probably where we should start. Real quick, I got some units over here that have current strength numbers already is that I, where they're starting no 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 i was i thought i found all those i'll get rid of them you no no that's fine they can stay you strategize and i'll get rid of that thought i found them all clearly not. so only one of the brigades are on the board is that what we're saying no uh, only one brigade is off the board. Oh, off the board. Yeah, one brigade, one third is a reinforcement. All right, all fixed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ron has taken, I see his uh one of his infantry brigades off very good 
You wish to attach this reserve artillery to Charlotte? Yes. All yep, right. sir. Mm -hmm. So indicate. Excellent. Thank you. He's going to pull somebody off here. I am thinking here. Sure thing. Holy cow. After I turn my back and suddenly everybody's out here. Snoopy Dog. He wants another game of the creature that ate Sheboygan. Well, Ron is Ron there. There we go. Pop that was Snoopy. a fun game. It is. It's a great game. <laughs> These are not advanced rules. It has. Somebody is out there being snarky, and I think I know who that is. Let me get that out of the way for you. All right. And what do you want to do with your... Uh... Aha. Seems to be answering my question. And the 95th rifles I have to attach as well, right? You don't have to, but then they just become their own force. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I played. How do the the forces activate again? I'm. You just you just act it. Uh, depending what you want them to do, uh, volley everybody shoots. But with movement or uh, and same thing with changing formation, but with moving and then going into melee, a force is a group of units within six within eight inches of each other. That gets to go as a group, costing you only the one point. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep them separate, but I can bring them on the board now. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, since you have both taken your troops off, we will now do the alternative setup. What do I mean by that? Each of you. Uh, we'll take is each of you is going to roll 1d6 and the high roller has to place his unit ha, has to place one brigade first both location and formation so please roll 1d6 of course now i roll high yeah calls to <laughs> ct so you must place one brigade or in this case like you could for example just place the 95th rifles if you wanted if you want i can turn on the uh, cheat yeah, it's... You got it. It's within these squares? Yes, anywhere in those squares. Oh, did you mention this river here in the middle? Mm-hmm. That, 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 is, that is fordable. Uh, however, it does constitute a... Uh, an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> const uh, definitely an inconvenience. It's definitely an inconvenience. We look at the word, and it is the word is actually a complication. So artillery could go across that too, or no? I don't think they can. Probably only at the bridge, right? Yeah, I don't believe they can. It is not a major river. Yeah, it's not a major river. You said I'm placing one of these two brigades, or the force? It's, it's you have to place one of the two brigades or you could for example as I say place the 95th rifles because they're by themselves It is difficult terrain and may be crossed by a gun. We are classifying it as a stream. You may not form square in it, you may not shoot from it, but it is not impassable.
what you're setting up in March column, no less. All right. Look at you all fancy boys. Uh, so it would seem. All right. Oh, we have no leaders? I just realized that. No. Why would you? Because we're only doing the one thing with them. You just say whether you're doing it or not. Uh, well, I... Maybe I like to put them on there. So if I have to change emergency formation, I like to see him on there. I can, you, I can absolutely go get him. You know? I'm just kidding. Don't worry about it. I'm just I will, I will, I will go get him. I, I don't this is actually one game I actually like without the leaders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, I usually, you know me, I like leaders. I like yeah, same, well, and as you, uh, so uh, CT, I gather you're done over here? Yes, yep. Ron, one brigade from you, please. The uh, It's it's interesting. Well, I think we've talked about this. Sam, uh, Sam doesn't like leaders. He doesn't like yes. leaders on the table. March columns. Don't try to kid me. <laughs> is that right? Red is telling me that he's had a chance to play Core Command 3, and we've we've talked about poorly written rules in the past. Oh, and if I didn't say it, hey has, hey Red, and the Mac Daddy. No, um, the creature that ate Sheboygan, we've played that, Felker, how many times have we played that? I think, well, we, I think we have two episodes on it, but I think both times we played it twice. So I think at least, yeah, we got, yeah, we got to have at least four games. It was, you and I played it and then you and Ron played it, right? I think that's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I think look, we played two games that night. One of the other guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, no, absolutely. The, uh, creature that ate Sheboygan is a, is a blast. Yeah, we've played it a bunch. Very hard to be the monster, though. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out the best yeah. word for the monster, no doubt. All right, Don. Fire is obviously very good, but... All right, CT, it's to you. Let's see what he's doing over here. Oh, really? Why do I get the feeling that this is Henry Simerson sending Sharp forward with the 95th Rifles to do something he doesn't want to? Sounds about right. That's the way it usually goes. All right. You're in it up. Ron, you're second I'm, brigade. I'm good. You're all set? All right, CT, your last brigade. What formation are these cav in right now? They only come in two flavors, march and column, or mass and column, and this is mass. Okay. They uh, There's an optional rule to let them form line, but I understand why Sam doesn't want to let them. I want wedge formation. And Yeah, you're the spear. Steel Panthers World at War has. A true classic. A true classic. I love that game. Used to free. I don't know. They don't even make that anymore, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Do they? Yeah, you can buy the upgunned version of it that's got crazy high resolution graphics, too. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to find it. I used to play that game all the time. That was a classic. I, I love that one. Yeah. All right. In and done. In and done. All right, I think I can turn off the map then. Green. Oop. Now you must place. Oh, I, I do need the map out. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see who went first. It was CT. So you must place. Yep, there you go. You're doing it. Is that the spot? I think so. I'm a locking it. Your turn, Ron. Where are you putting it? I lock it in. Thank you. 
Well, gentlemen, let's do it for the sake of the argument. Let's uh, go through our drills here. Green, green, green. Yep, that's what I want. Now I can close this. All set. We're going to go through our drill. It's turn one. out of. Oh, by the way, the game is ten turns. Sorry about that. Uh, per brigade on the table. Let's see here. CT, you have got you have got yourself two, and Ron, you have yourself two, two each. Um, the baggage, you each have your baggage. That's four. Will you be using your general for his uh, command ability? Yes. CT, I believe so. Yeah. One D three, please, from both of you. Ooh, that was a good six. That's three for you. Three more for CT, two more for Ron. Holy cow, this is a different situation. <laughs> ah. And now uh, mm -hmm. we are not doing the advantage in the skirmish, so that's how much you've got. That's how much you've Ooh. got. That's it. <laughs> I'm used to like 15, 16. I know, I know. Um, but we still must roll for skirmish. Ron, I know you've got all threes, but they're in March, so that's zero. Correct. That is zero. And I'm going to go over here and see CT. You're all in March. There is no voltageurs to be passed out. None. Because there's nothing to roll here. I want to verify that that, this, okay, folks, this is one of those, okay, that's never happened before. Um, but I'm fairly certain that in the skirmish phase, if nobody is in formation, which is the case, But somebody, somebody has to win because we got to know who goes first. Straight up die roll, and probably they resolve it. I don't know. Like, did, did which I then the British will go first? Because he's did, did I men did I mention? I don't know. Uh, the skirmish phase, basic kind. Of, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Skirmish point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it doesn't... Okay, I'm just not reading it because Sam, of course, knows this could happen. He's got to know, especially with March columns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Red sacks. Are we going to see Dice Fountains Drought? And then he goes on later on saying, somebody must have forgot to pay the dice water bill. <laughs> nice one, Red. It doesn't reference it anywhere in the skirmish. I, I'm look, it doesn't. It does not say. All right, call him up on the phone. Sam, the total number of skirmish points. Each unit contributes a number of points equal to its skirmish value. You may contribute points only if you are in line or mass. Literally, nobody is in line or mass. Is it his cabin mass? Yeah, yeah, but Cav doesn't have they it. don't. Oh, right. Yeah, Cav don't have skirmish. It's a skirmish. Oh well, well, one. there's there's the answer. If you score the same number of hits, which is to say zero, skirmishing has been inconclusive, and in the phase ends. Yeah. And there it is. Roll a tiebreaker. There it is. Mm -hmm. So please roll a tiebreaker. High roll has the advantage. Great. Ooh. Right. Ron, you know how this part goes. Away with you. Move order. Mm hmm You've only got two, so Charlay or Bruno? Yes, please. <laughs> Stop it. I'm sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know why I'm looking at that. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I figured. <laughs> Two inch base, so that'd be twenty inches. Twenty, in, 20 inches, yeah.
And the town counts as difficult? It's a complication, yep. Complication, right. What does complication do again? Remind that, me. that means it costs him two points instead of one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just caught up on what Ron was talking about. That's funny. Yeah, that that wow on a standard uh, on a standard table size, that sucker moves fast, doesn't it? This is just like moving tanks. Yeah. All right, that will cost me two. All right, but that was not in the face of the enemy, so you keep going. Formation change. Okay. Does that count garrisoning this? Yes. Yes, that is a formation change to make the uh, 2nd Battalion 55th Line garrison that. And as you will recall, that they don't get to leave. Right, right, right. You got to set them up so that they're all within a certain distance of each other, but also, yeah, there you go. You're doing fine. And this is the the outside edges of the buildings are set to the outside edges of a BUA. So. Oh, Ron, you get a point back. Chrono's out, in the, chat. Chrono's out in the chat. Limbered artillery and infantry in March Column may treat an ungarrisoned town as not difficult terrain. Oh, okay. Well, actually, it makes a lot of sense because yeah, mar you're, you're marching through the streets, right? So you get one of those points back. Yeah, I, I just gave it back. Which are, I which, are, which are pretty precious at this point. Oh, God, yeah. Now, when you set up the artillery, it's in front of the limber, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Actually, I forgot about that. Oh, well. <laughs> well, fellow certainly decided to position himself advantageously. All right, that's formation change. Well, we would come over here to the chart and see the formation changes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. They are global and they are not near the enemy. So you got another one again. You go again. All right, move on order. Okay. Zoom.
All right. That brings you down to three. Mm -hmm. Still not in the face of the enemy. Go on. How Bombard close is the face of the enemy? Eight inches. Eight inches. Okay. Bombard. I'm not shocked. All right, you got two. Yeah, it's going to hit pretty much. Yeah, you're going to hit him and stop. I think you get a shift up, though, because he's in March Column. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So that'd be what? A Field three? artillery, you're rolling uh, four dice for threes. Yeah. Two. Uh, and uh, 50%. And two dice for four. Nothing. Ooh, that was rough. And actually, uh, CT, it's fine that you rolled it. We'll let it go. But actually, Ron should roll those. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's all right. He can roll if he wants. Remember, you got a heal here, Ron. Yeah. No, I'll keep your roll, CT. I'm fine. But I can hit mm -mm. this, though. Nope. You're blocked by this hill. Oh, this hill here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that little hill. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Okay. You shoot over here. Do I have side of them? Uh, you have to veer. Veer to your left. Get clear. Well, I'm doing it from center, but... No, you don't really. No. I am going to pass. All right. CT, you're up. Okay, well, these rules are all coming crashing back to me. So. <laughs> ah. Um, let's see. And when you do a formation change, there's no facing change with that, right? Sure you can. Any oh, you can? Any facing okay. you want. Let me do. Let's do our movement first, right? Because right. for is formation global. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm going to bumble my way through this at first. Questions or right. questions are always in order. Yes, formation is global. All right. Let me do movement first. Mm -hmm. And that is 12, and then it's you double that, or it's... Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And forgive me again, the assault too, that's a little... Kind of move them as you go. You can... Yep. Um, yeah. Lot, much freer. Yeah, if you, saw, it, yeah, if you saw how I moved, I went diagonally, I went, you know, straight. It ain't, this ain't Shaka. Oh, my cans had Overwatch, didn't they? Yeah, right. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play? You want to play Chain of Command? You just let us know. We'll set you up. I don't know, but I have to be fighting the Russians. I don't have very good luck with them. <laughs> oh, holy cow! All right. And that's two, right? Now one. Just one. There's Just no one. Yeah, there's no complication okay. with it. Okay. All right. 
And I go again, right? Yes, sir. Because you are not within eight inches of the enemy. Unless you get within eight inches, you you keep going until you want to pass like I did. Gotcha. All right, let us move the 95th Rifles. All right. So that was 9-5, and then it's, you have to give up 2 inches for you, a complication? You, you give up nothing for a complication. It just costs you an extra point. Okay. Yeah, this is... It, I, I, can, I have been trying to find, and nobody has shared with me, a rule set where complication, where moving through rough terrain doesn't cost you something it, other than having to pay a little extra momentum. You want me to put eight inches out for you so you can see? If you don't mind. It's very gentlemanly of you. All right. And so that's two because there's a complication. <laughs> oh, you moved. The, you hit. You still them selected. Oh, my bad. All right, that was two for them, and then I'm going to move Kemp's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would appear Chrono is not amazed at the prospect of op fire. <laughs> yeah, it does look like the boys are setting a whale on each other. Although I'm going to take Chrono's point, as as much as I've been afraid of them, now that I've actually spoken aloud what the advanced rules are, those really aren't complicated rules. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm very interested to know, though, what effect it would have if instead of the mo points, now you're getting all these voltageurs. That rally thing is nasty. What rally thing? If you have a voltageur, you can't rally. Oh yeah, you've got skirm. You've got skirmies. We got skirmies. You touch the fish. You have skirmies. No rallying. All right, that's their move. Mm -hmm. Then a formation change mm -hmm. for everyone. That's global. Bear in mind that you're going to have a real tricky time doing a formation change with him and not getting within eight inches of these boys. Just putting that out there. Gotcha. Let's start down here first. Well, for, for the record, for, for the record, Mike, it was earlier determined that uh, our... They go in front. That CT. Yeah, you got to push them forward. Oh. They, they go forward to the battery. That's what I was saying oh. before about when I set up mine. They go when you when you put these guys and then you put them the base gotcha. in the front and then. Well, I would have liked to then have that, had them back here. Okay, that's, no problem. That's fine. I mean, it's. Not it's, a problem. I think you see my intent. <laughs> yeah, we do. Certain, certainly something you can do. No, Mike, the, uh, the point that was being made earlier is that we believe, at least as far as we know, that um, CT is marching across the field with bags, with burlap, well, velvet line burlap bags on pikes. <laughs> Hmm. 
You will not have my head. I will not go in the bag. I refuse. And just so and just so it's crystal clear, CT, this is what's called mass formation, yeah? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Preventing someone from rallying in a particular situation could be nasty. All right. And then, as you pointed out, I might have screwed myself over here with the 95th yep. changing formation. Because I can't just turn them into line. I'd have to string them out. No, I mean, you can, you can change their facing and pin them up against this wall, essentially. Yeah. That's legit. Can't be off the board though. Making a making a mess here, hold on. No problem. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. And then the boy's over here. If you do, just so you know, if you do that, you cannot cross the bridge using the bridge. It becomes a complication. Bridges are always one base width wide. You give me paws. Are they little furry paws? <laughs> is there is there a support in this game? I forget. Nope, there's not. No. Yeah, Shaco. Or, or and, Black Potter. Anyway. And did Black we say Potter, yeah. um, Cav crosses the stream or no? Yes, Cav can cross yes. the stream. It is, however, a complication. Right. All right, formations have been duly changed. That's one point. Then it remains your turn because you have not done it in the face of the enemy. I would then like to bombard. It seems that uh, that tit is appropriate for the tat you have received. Uh, who, are, who are you going to bombard? Do I have to do closest? No. no. Okay. Um... Is there a disadvantage for bombarding these cannon? Uh, none, other than the fact that is that he's deployed. Is that a downshift? I think it is. No, it's not. Interesting. Then there's none. The only other disadvantage is shooting at guns is a dicey proposition because they've got a resolve. They've got a resolve of six, so they're not easy to hit. You can hit them, but it's tough to shake them. I guess is what I'm saying. Gotcha. And the range is 24? As I recall, the ranges aren't on here. So no, the ranges are not on here. That's the one thing that's missing. Yeah. We gotta make up our own sheet. No, I mean, that sheet's a good one. It's just... It's just just this white spot. See this white box here? That should have been... They could have that's, had that's, where it, that's where it should have been. That is where it should have been. Uh, Sam, revision. That's, that's what we're <laughs> yeah. looking for. And the infantry range while you're at it. Well, that's what I meant. Range well, they're, they're, act they're actually sitting right next to each other, right here. And it is, no, 48 inches. Oh, yeah, I, I thought you had, like, the whole football field. Okay. And what's the infantry range? Eight. Eight. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Um... Yeah, let's send this one at the boys back there. All right, I was looking at something real quick. You were going over there. Got it. Okay. 
I don't nobody behind to bounce, so. Well, it's uh, going uphill anyway. It doesn't bounce. That's true. Good point. Uh, so that's Kemp's artillery, which has a firepower of three, three for four, or better. That's one. Now you get to roll. Now you dot CT roll one die for four or better. Nothing. The other gun. Um, let's go with the artillery. Three dice. I'm assuming. I'm just checking. Yeah, three dice, four or better. Nothing. Now you got one. You oh, got a five. a five. That's a five, sorry. One die for a six. Nope. Okay. All right, that's all my that's a bombarding. Point. That's a point that's for a point. It. Yeah, take that point down. And you still have the turn with your last point. And if I pass, it goes back to him, correct? Correct. I'm going to pass. Run. All right. Formation change. All right. Oh, looky there. Dang, darn it. Can't change them. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. How are you going to do that? Very carefully. With some difficulty. All right. And my buying last point, bombarding. Yep. All right. I got this one here because he didn't shoot. I thought you took two shots. No. Okay. Oh, remember. remember oh, that's right. He I couldn't. Could. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah, for a fact. All right. So, yeah. But are you gonna? Yep, that's all of them, for sure. I agree. Uh, res Ooh, and that's your big boy. Four for four. Two, four for six. Nothing. Four for six. Nothing. Two at the front for fives. Oh, both of them. Nasty. Okay. And your other one? Well, straight down the pipe, I guess. Yeah, straight down the pipe. Three for four. I hit them in the jug. Mm -hmm. Two. And three for six. Nothing. So two for fives, Ron? Nothing. Nope. All right. That's all right. I'll yeah. take the two from the first shot. And that's it. Now, that passes back to CT. Oh, no, you had one more left? Or, no, that's right. You did your thing. So, CT, you've got a point left. You can rally these guys, or try to. Um, you're talking rolling two dice. You need three or better. Anything you fail at does become permanent, but it's better than 50-50. Uh, yeah, let's try to rally them. Two dice for three. Got them both. Like it never happened. Dang it! Like it never happened. Uh, that's it then. All right. Uh, now I believe that takes us to... I always thought the turn sequence was on this thing. Oh, no, it's over here. Duh. Silly pants. Orders, yeah, status. Reinforcement check. That is what I thought. Uh, person who took the last turn at CT, that's you. Roll 1d6. You would like to get a 6. Nope. Ron, you would like to get a 6. Oh, really? 
Well, you would. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just saying, you would like to get one. Oh Seriously. my god! Oh, I got it. oh, 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 what? Uh, that brigade comes on within within your uh, deployment area. Four inch. You can be up to eight inches in. Yeah. Now you roll the six when you're not on my team, man. I know, right? <laughs> They have to be in March, don't they? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good remembering. The British kids and campers have developed a situation. No, the French fields have four. Pretty sure. Yeah, they've got four. Now I see why they call this a meeting of avant-garde, too. You know, once upon a time when I was painting figs, this is the sort of scenario that you'd love to have because you could get whatever few figures you'd actually manage to paint on the table. Now I look at it and it's like, yeah, but if I had like 50 more bases, this would be awesome. <laughs> you know. But I like this. I still do like the smaller battles like this. Column, Limburg, the whole bit. Thank you, Jim. Mm -hmm. Your friendly neighborhood. You're such a wonderful host. Your friendly neighborhood wargaming croupier. Every neighborhood needs one of those. All right. I'm telling you. All right, that's reinforcement phase, which does, however, take us to turn two. It is turn two, people. Turn two. Uh, we begin again per brigade on the table. Oh, Dalinar, you don't have you don't have three, not two, but three. Yes. You get three points. Um, CT gets two. Your baggage counts for two more. Hold on, let's see. <coughs> does the CT get three? Because this is considered its own brigade. No, that is not a brigade. Brigade must have at least two units. Oh, okay. So CT is now set at four. I'm marking him over here since I'm hanging out. Um, or is that you, Ron? That's you. That's right. That's me. Yeah, so you got, so you got, I you got three. five. You got five. Yeah. Three plus two is five. Are you both using your generals for uh, momentum? Yes, sir. Yes. One D6 divided in half. Ron gets one, CT gets three. And now we check for uh, skirmishing. Let's see here. Ron, you have deployed skirmishers. Look at them. I see skirmishers. Yeah. So that's three there. Is that it? Nope. Mass, six. And the mass, yep. So that's six, I believe. Is that correct, Ron? Yes. Mm -hmm. CT, how about you? Uh, ooh, look at that. It's going to be nine. And the rifles, three, twelve. Six to twelve. So... Uh, again, Ron, you roll six. CT, you roll 12. You are looking for sixes. Two for Ron. One. One for CT. Okay, so Ron has the momentum despite rolling half as many dice. Oh, my gosh. And Ron... Oh. It, it must be the evening. Thursday nights are not my nights. Uh, tell, and Ron, Ron, what do you, oh, look what you get. Look what you get. Yay. You can place your square. Where, where, oh, it's very saucy. Ser seriously, really? You gonna do that? To, <laughs> you gonna do that to him? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any question that he's doing it to him. So he is indeed. Now, can you indeed? And I think I we must do the the discipline. 
there's no question that it fits. It is within 16 inches of somebody who is in either March or of, of mass or line and somebody who is contributing to the skirmish, which he is doing. And there are no cavalry within. Yeah, that's a, that's an easy call. And Ron, it's your play. All right, we are going to do a move order. All right. Off we go to the races now. Is that right? Mm. I, I don't know. Hang on a second. Copy. I'm not actually copying French people despite my... Wow. Has, you know... Hey, Ron. Check this. Yeah. One, two, three, four. What, what kind really? of is that? Are you kidding? That's the How hat. do you do that? That's has grab them all. Uh huh. Left click and hold. One, two, three, four. Oh my God, has why haven't you telling us to begin yeah, with? Yeah, yeah, has <laughs> when when where was this? Where was it? when when exactly were you going to tell us this? Because the way he put it in chat is. Doesn't that work anymore? When did it work the first time? <laughs> Guy. Anyway. All right, so that was a move. Did you mark yourself the point? Yes. What's next? Because there's not a lot of French guys crashing that river stream. Mark it down another move for another move. Mm hmm. Oh, so you can see. I'm over here, Jim. Yep. Mm -hmm. Watching. Squeaky, squeaky. What are you doing? And if I kiss you by the window. Oh, that I understand. Take the class. All right. Next thing. Gonna do bombard. All right. Let's start over here with the horse guns. I believe we all figured out three. Right. For four. Yeah, three for four. One, One. Three, three for six. Oh! Oh! Wow. One for five in the front. Oh. When did you be? When did you become the wrecking crew? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. It's not Saturday. Let's shoot. And down. that could be two for fives. Still, not, not slouchy. Next. Ah, yes. Same shit. That's four for fours. Four for four. Two. Four for six. One. Four for six. 
one. Two for five. One for five. One for five. Wow. A lot of skate. Maybe, maybe we gave him a good scare. Yeah, you got an L. Who's next? Yeah. Four for four. Yep. Four for four. All of them. Uh, four for three. Oh, four for five. Sorry, four for five. One. One. That's better than nothing. Yeah, those guys aren't to be played around with. Whether or not they've got skirmies. All right, another move order. CT, would you mind giving me an eight line? No, they're not within eight inches. We've been we they they've been dancing outside eight inches. <laughs> Red Sax is protesting. You're getting rid of the sixes. You're going to need on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need them on Saturday. Oh, we ain't winning that, but. You're going to learn them what? <laughs> but I want to give a hurting. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. All right. I'm passed. And I'm, I'm assuming you paid for that move, yeah? Yes, I did. I'm down to two. CT. All right. Let's <clears throat> let's do a move order. Very good. Sorry, just look at the movement here. Uh, mm -hmm. So 16. Oh. Wait a minute. It's got to be far enough because remember, you only go two inches once you hit the yeah, eight line. Yeah, that's the problem. You're going to. He slows you uh, down. I have forgotten that. Yep. Yeah. Or if you want to do it another way, Ron, show him six inches. Well, if he's going this way, it's going to be hard to show him six inches. True. Well, I can't go through that town, right? Correct. Well, you can. It's a complication. Pretty sure you can. I know you can't charge into it. I think Calvary can only go through town in a... That's in it. You gotta, yeah, that's right. you got to be in a mar column. march column. That's right. That's six inches there, CT. In other words, that's you're already at the eight, and that's as far as you can go. <laughs> I'll get right up to there, so I'm not in a complication there.
that was their move, but I'm in the face of the enemy, so. Back to you, Ryan. All my brigades moved. No, you are absolutely right about that, Chrono. The fact that you come blazing in there with these 20-inch moves. And the next thing you know, you're like, uh, okay, this half yeah, inch. Yeah, emergency, right right emergency break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all doing bootlegger reverses. Pass. CT, back to you. All right. And what um, negatives does this little skirmy guy give to me? Depends what you do. You can't rally. If you move or change formation, he gets to shoot at him. And right. if you shoot, it's a downshift. Right. All right, let's move these guys up. Are you going to move them? All right, yes, before, I will. Before you do that, he gets to shoot you. One die, All six, right. one die six for five. Because you've got skirmies. Nope. nope. No, you don't. Uh, Same deal. Let's show them six inches. Uh. Do what has showed you. Are oh, you trying to stay out of eight inches of these guys? Is that what you're trying to do? You got me. Now, can cannons volley besides bombard? Nope. Not yet. okay. If they've if they have bump now they do get to volley. That's called canister range. But not if they've bombarded. Okay, that's what I was just asking. All right, that was my move. I'm uh, in the face of your guns. So, Ron. Move order. Okay. And for my last but not least, uh, formation change. Let's try this newfangled sorcery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it reversed, like, my flag guy, they end up being reversed. <laughs> yeah. I also don't like the fact that it kind of it I, you got you should really form off a base that's i'm going to have a problem with that you are supposed to form off a base so i like that they all have their backs to me right well they're shunning you they're shunning you like an amish that, that's fine as long as i can shoot them in the back
Actually, I wonder if they form off the base that you actually... Yeah, they might. I was thinking that. All right. Oh, these guys are still backwards. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to experiment the next one. I have to change formation. All right. So that's it for you? Yep. CT? Yep. I would like to... Let's see. I want to bombard. When do I get to volley? Is that an, that's anytime you want? Right? Anytime, oh. yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Big it's a global one. order. Correct. Gotcha. And how close do I have to keep um, the units together for them? Eight to... inches. Eight inches. Thank you. Yeah, and, and Haz is saying that they'll form on the one you select. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, they do. But why do they reverse? <laughs> Ask them that. So what you up to, CT? Um, I'm going to move Kemp's. Mm -hmm. And it is center to center, by the way. Or sorry, center to nearest. You have to, we, we've, I don't know as we've been quite as good as we've been, as, but you're supposed to go from that center point for measurement purposes. Would you call that an eight then? Mm-hmm, I would. Okay. Socially distanced, Snoopy says. All right, that was my move with the complication. Okay, still your your. Uh... You're it because Ron's out of points. Yep. Then I would like to volley. All right. Who of yours would get to volley? Your certainly your rifles. Well, your rifles are going to go there. Do they have enough room to get to here? Yeah. They, oh no, they don't. That's out of range. Yeah. So how about this guy? In. In. It's a lot actually. They've got them rifles. Yeah. But that's not rapid fire. Thank God. What does rifles give them? Is it just a shift? Rifles shift down. That's a shift, yeah. So, uh, uh, two, four, six. Six for three. On the guns. Four? Yeah. Four. Four for six. Now, this is UCT. Four, you need sixes. One. Oh, look at that. And shaken. Yeah, 
that's a big deal. Blink. Yep. How about the other guy? Yep. Yep. Two dice for th fours. Oh yeah, yeah. Two for four. So, oh yeah, talk about me being a hot rolling. <laughs> two for two for six. Not that time. All right. All right. So that was my volley. Yeah. So pay one for that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the rallying thing. What's the rule for that? One die. If he's within eight inches of the enemy, it's a little harder. Okay. He's with an eight. Yeah. Alright, well let me uh, use one of mine for bombard, because mm -hmm. I've not done that yet. Correct. Where are you going? Over that way? It won't bounce. It will hit the gun. Foot artillery is uh, three for fours. All three. Oh my god. Oh, there goes my artillery. Yeah. Well, I needed those sixes. Yeah, I? I know. I Yeah, you flushed the sixes. Three for sixes. Oh, get on. Yep, told yes, you. Yes, he will. That's not insubstantial. No, it's not. Okay. This other fella? Has he got the range um, over there? He's got, he's got the range. The question is, can you see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's at the ridge. He's at the ridge. Um, so, yeah, let me have yeah. him then. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get anybody else. Well, no, you could actually get these guys too. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. It is three dice for fours. All of them. That's Holy crud. Three dice for th three dice for threes. For fours. Three dice for fours. Two of them. Nice. All right, and then my last point. Mm -hmm. Rally. He is that not in the back. In the back, he is not with an eighth. He is not. Nope. All right. So this is the first Dragoon Guard Somerset. Uh, one die, for, one die for three. Ooh. No. Nope. That's permanent. All right, CT, two dice. You want one of them to be a six? Nope. No. I used them all up earlier. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you burned them all down. Uh, that's it. All right, that takes us to turn three. Um, yeah, I think I picked, yeah, the Voltageur got picked up, so that's good. Both of you still have the same number of brigades. So, Ron, you have three brigades. CT, you have two. So with the baggage, which you both possess, Ron, you have five. CT, you have four. Using your generals for uh, momentum? Yes. Yes. 1D6, minus, 1D6 divided by two. <laughs> oh, really? One, three. Three for CT. He's gotten one six four. every yeah, single time. Yeah, he's rolled a lot of sixes. It's yeah, I, I can't complain anymore. I'll shut up now. <laughs> All right, let's talk about how much skirmishing we got out here, because I know there is some. If I looked at this right, I have nine. Three, six, nine, I would agree. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, twelve to nine. You need sixes. Four for CT. Two for Ron. Nah. Oh, I do have two. Okay. Yep. And CT, you get two skirmies. You may give Ron the skirmies. So I get to either sh I get to shoot him when he moves or, or change when he or, fires. Uh, he can't rally. If he moves or change formation, you get to shoot at him. And if he shoots at you, it's a downshift. Does that include cannons? Yes. 
but it has to be unlimbered. And it's only and it's only one of those things, or it's all those things. It's the first one that happens. Uh, that's what I was asking. Okay, yeah. All right. However, I don't think I can put it on his cannons because how close? Two, are it's it's one base width. It's only two inches. Oh, okay. That guy right there is giving it is, is giving him. He could give him the skirmies quite easily. Even though he can't see him. I don't think line of sight matters. Let me take a look. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said LOS was mattering. Does it? That's I. It like I say, I'm the new rule. Daniel Moreno has joined us. Daniel, good to see you, my friend. I'm not sure. Maybe I was wrong. I, I know you had to draw. You had to draw a line of yeah, line yeah, to them. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was a line. line of sight or just a line. Right. <laughs> Here we go. It may not cross another enemy unit. It may pass through any passable terrain or friendly unit. Okay. So, yeah, you could do it here. Yeah, we're going to put one on the artillery. All right, you got the markers. Oh, Ron, that gun has skirmies. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. And... Put one on... That guy. He's got skirmies. All right, uh, and CT, you have the uh, the advantage. You start. Um, I'm going to movement mm -hmm. order. Yes. I don't think Ron will be surprised by this one. Mm -hmm. So do I have to hit him in his front or wherever nope. I hit him? It's wherever you hit him, but you got to go straight. I have to charge straight ahead? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can turn first up to 45, but then you got to go in straight. No turnings. And I can't double. You can't. You Not the way you're set up now. You're not going to be able to double because you also got to hit him with the center right here. you got to go that yep. way. you got to point the center, so. I could turn these guys 45, or would they... They can't turn yeah, in that. Yeah, you could do 45 and then charge right in this one. Yep. Yeah, let me do that. In come the blues. It's legit. Now, this Bonk. is... Now, let's go through it. Um, you want to talk about what it is that is a complication when you move, because that's what this is charging and difficult terrain are each and they add so that's a total of three points for this because okay. you are you are charging and you cross difficult terrain so when you're done this will be three points all right um now are the rest of these guys behind bound by that uh yes yeah, the eight, if you're just moving the eight inch move yes it doesn't. It's not line of sight. It's right. just yeah. You've not eight you've not negated the eight inches if that's the question. Okay. They still only can move two. And if they get pushed back, do they disrupt the units behind them? Nope. Nope. Okay. They uh, they just shoot through them. And re and remember, in this game, that's only one base width. It's only two inches. Okay. So it's. It's a lot less, but if necessary, they do, uh, they pass through. Too many rule sets. Good thing you keep them straight. Uh, it's, it's ish. Ish. Can you give me a measure on this one, Ron? I think the six inches. Well, that's just it. I don't know where that, because it's actually eight inches here. So if you're going diagonal, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, because once what? you get once you hit eight inches, it's two inches. It's only that six inch thing only works if you're going forward. If you're moving okay. laterally, you're gonna have to. You, you basically got a two inch move there. No, you don't. You don't even have that. Yeah, you got you got a two inch move. Because you're inside his zoc for all intents and purposes. This is the sort of deal where the six inch works. Yeah. Okay, that's that move, and I deduct three. One D six each. You each add six. Six to six. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, oh, really? 12, to to, 12 to eight. Oh, that's a break. Holy cow. You know what that means? Do I get me Opalchenia? You get a huzzah. Oh, Ron, I'm sorry. I have to do this to you, man. No, you're not. <laughs> A little bit. I was I was on your team when this when it happened in, in the first place. <laughs> you get you get a huzzah. So he, that sticks there. Remember, the huzzah can do one of two things, and it has you have to get rid of it by the end of the turn because it comes off in the marker phase. But mm -hmm. boy, is this something to think about. Now, obviously, the turn is still going to pass over to Ron, but this unit can be made eligible to move again. Mm hmm. Um. He still gets his disruption, though, being that's cavalry. Uh, he certainly does. He certainly does. Thank you. And uh, now that he's paid, he already paid his three. So, Ron, it's over to you. Paying two, movement. Can they prolong backwards or no? Sure. All right. When you say shock cavalry has, you're talking about cavalry that has the shock trait because they don't. Yeah, none of them do. Okay. Um, all right. Bruno six. Five to six. And, uh, I can't use that who's a marker for anything, can I? That's that's a great question. Can you use, can he use it at any time? Oh, I take it. Huh. Oh, okay. The way that that should have worked after that fight was done, he has to make a choice. Either make him eligible to move again or remove the disruption. It's one or the other. What would you have done? <sighs> to move again, I could have charged, I think. No, it just makes him eligible to move again. 
Yeah, but which would allow him to charge again. Right oh, then like... or later in the turn? Later in the same turn. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, it gets him eligible to be able to move later in the same turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well then I would have removed the disruption because I would have seen this come. I saw this coming. All right. Yeah, I guess there's no breakthrough, is there? Not without a huzzah. Yeah, you being able to <coughs> go again later in the turn is still like a breakthrough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not an immediate, like, in, within right. the same. I right. got it. All right, so six to six. Great. Nah. <laughs> Nine to seven. Not as bad that time. Uh, defender is outscored is uh, wins actually so cavalry you take one disruption attacker defending cavalry ask no not that still engaged one disruption and staggered so it's just it's that's not the worst but you do stagger Your turn, CT. Yeah, that makes sense. What they're pointing out, Ron and, and CT, so you know, is that if cavalry has the shock trade, it doesn't pay that point for charging if it's in mass. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I would like to bombard. All right. Start where? There it is. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Three for four. One. One for four. Nope. This one. Over there on that fella that's already got the skirmies. Ah, bitter blow. Uh, three for four. One, one for four. There you go. Just about to say, not the best cannon read, but you got one there anyway. Ooh, he's, he's creaking a little. Yeah, he is. And that's all your guns, so if you paid that, but it's still your turn, because bombardment don't cause it. I think I'll pass to Ron. All right, Ron. Can do a formation change? Yes. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll take that back. <laughs> I'm going to do movement first. Yes. Yeah, I've talked, I've thought, we've talked here, Daniel, about the uh, cavalry going into line thing, and I, I agree with you. I'm assuming you're staying outside. Yeah, I just moved the back point too. Okay. Because you have a little gap here if you needed to. Actually, a couple of gaps.
All right, from there, I'm doing a formation change. No, and you got, you know, I believe we already determined you didn't get to within eight, so away you go. Yep. Where is this cat? Oh, it's over here. So does that now count with an eight? If any part of it gets with an eight, it does. Oh, even with the formation change? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you want to keep that backed out like you let me do earlier? Yeah. Yeah, no, I get what you were trying to do. I was doing the same thing earlier. These guys are all drunk on their victory here, and in the distance they see French infantry forming, forming up. Yeah. Hey, boss, you still want us to keep going? Did you not see? We got the, we got the drunken Russian guy with spears. That's a good omen. Now I'm going to bombard. All right. From. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, that was a nice prolonged backwards. Thank you. Three for four. Or do I have to volley because it's in eight inches? Oh, yeah. You inside man, you're inside mandatory canister range. Oh, heavy artillery rolls ones in a volley. Yeah, no, no. Um, well, canister is mandatory. An artillery unit may not bombard if it has any enemy units that it could shoot at by volleying. So you must volley. All right, so instead of bombard, I guess I'll volley. Okay. Does that give you a shift? No. It just is. But there's, there isn't even? Not even for a gun, huh? I know you don't get to bounce. Because you're volleying, you see. Alright. That's interesting. Guess not. So that'd be three for four. Three for four. It's just the nature of the order. So three for four. Two hits. Mm -hmm. So then two for five. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yep. Son of a gun. Where's your other volleys? That's all I have. That's all. Okay. Yeah, nothing else is in range. 
All right. Well, that's it. CT, you're up. Uh, we will move camps. All right. I think. I'm thinking. Yes, let's. I knew there was something. When artillery volleys, it rolls three dice per base. It rolls its firepower per base. Well, isn't there only one base? Let me look. Is that Russian base? No, it's two. It counts, uh, as, so it counts as two, so you get three more dice. You get this. Yeah, I, I knew there was something up with canister. I just don't show it that way. But it's it's two guns. Right. It's one more, right? Yep. Yep. One more for five. Got it. That's a little better. Yes, yeah, a little bit. All right, CT. So you moved where here? Yep. So and then I'm gonna prolong these guns up. Sure. That's two inches? Yep. Or as we say, squeaky squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, that's I was just fixing, Daniel. Thanks, man. Way. No, no, I don't know. I know for him with this. Oh, got it. I was just checking range. Mm -hmm. All right, that is Kemp's moving. All right, you pay for it. And I know I, I saw some difficulties there. So yes, you... I have to pay two still. All right. I don't think you got close enough to anybody. Did uh, I did. Oh. Who'd you give the cooties? Here. Okay. And here. Okay. Those guys cannot shoot. They're in water. Oh, they cannot. No, it's a, that is an obsession of one Sam Mustafa. No right, shooting well, out of water ever. I have more move then. then I can move them out. Very good. All right. Well, in that case, I want to uh, move these other guys up next to them. That's fine. Okay, there you go. Now you have some shooting, I think. Now I have an interrupt. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. I will volley. Volley again. Very good. So, it's more of the 45 question. I don't think you're going to get the last one. The last one's out. Yeah. Just these three. Five for four.
three, three, four, four. Nothing. Ouch. Are you kidding me? Ouch. Are there volleys? Nope. CT, you're back? Yep, my last point, I would like to volley. All right. Front. All right, so you're going to shoot from here to... So you got to... That's your call. He does. It's just two bases. So it's, uh, hurts. It's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Just two bases for him is friggin' two hits on me. Yeah. So but no, he's fine. Yeah, it's uh, so which one do you want to do first? The 32nd or the 79th foot? All right, we'll do the 32nd foot. That's two for fours. One. One for fours. Uh-huh. Eight. <laughs> I get three hit, three hits, and I miss all three. You get two, and I still get one. And this next one is, again, two for, two for fours. One. One for four. Is the, uh, then, are the grasshoppers in range? No. no Somebody didn't want to move with their skirmies, but I got these guys. Two for four. Nothing from being on the flank or anything? Nope. The, uh, the, the modifiers are plenty limited. If you were... No, to, gotta be kidding me. Got them twice, though. All the... Yeah. Uh, so that's two for four, and again, two for four. Got one. Oi. Okay. And then that's that's it for me. All right, Ron, what you got left? Uh, I was done. All right. Uh, so that takes, you lose your skirmies. I know you're sad. Well, they did their job. They did. they did. A lot of skirmish behavior. Uh, CT, three dice. You would like a six. Hey, there, there it is. There Who's it is. Uh... Those boys can come on anywhere inside your deployment area. For uh, No more than eight inches in, though. They must come in and march column. And the artillery limbered. What was the uh, trick? You hold left, left click. Yeah, you you select it all, left click hold, click hold, and press one. Promise the reversal. Oh, that one didn't reverse. Son of a gun. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Okay. So what has is saying, and it, we fixed it. It doesn't matter. The base that is in water may not shoot, but the others may. Artillery, if any portion of it is in water, may not shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Ron, while he's doing that, let's start your calculations. Uh, this will be turn four. Boop. You got uh, three brigades. You got your still got your baggage. Takes you up two. You're going to use your general? Yes. Roll for it. Two. Takes you to seven. Not bad. And now let's check out who, ooh, you got a lot of guys that are doing that skirmish thing. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Very nice. 
So we'll wait for CT to continue to finish deploying over here. Some heavy pipe hitters coming. All right. All right, I'm deployed. All right, CT, let's get you going here. It is turn four. You got three guys out plus two. Uh, actually, nope. You now got th you got three brigades, two for the baggage. That's five. Uh, you're going to use your general for the uh, momentum? Yep. 1d6. Of course. Three, again. Three again. <laughs> All right, let's figure out you. Three, six, nine, twelve. Is that it? I think so. 21 to 12. Ooh. 21 to 12. You have to beat me, Ron. <laughs> Two to <I> one. one. <laughs> <laughs> and Ron, you may place one skirmy. They cannot have skirmies. Only, oh, in, only infantry, which is infantry and unlimbered guns. They have been inoculated to skirmies. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't touch the fish. Ah. Well, apparently Kemp's men touched the fish and had skirmies. And Ryan, you're up first. Oh, uh, well, actually, just make 100% sure it's legal. It looks good to me. Uh, this guy contributed. His center point is an easy distance away, and there are no cavalry. Skirmies infected. Run, you're up. Volley order. Volley, the man says. Mm -mm -mm. Start with your guns. Double yeah. canister. Six dice for fours. Hey, oh yeah, that's right, you can get it. Six dice for four. Uh. Are you kidding me? One for five. It hits, but my blue haven't. I know. Where else? Oh, yes. Five for four. Five Much better. Four for four. Yeah, but no. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Owie. That's it. Uh... CT, you're up. Let me let do move order for packs. Bring it right. back here. Sure thing. He has roughly a hojillion moves. <laughs> uh, so it's twenty inches for both. Yep.
That's behind the crest, correct? Where are you at? I'm sorry. I'd say. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Cannot see or be seen. And to uh, Chrono's earlier point, <laughs> they come hauling up here like a rocket sled on rails. Nice. I, I just got a tweet from a friend of mine who is obsessed about umpiring in Major League Baseball games. Apparently, there's a full meltdown going on in the St. Louis Milwaukee Brewers game, where the count went uh -huh. from where the count went from zero and two to two and one to one and two, while at the same time only two pitches have been thrown. Holy cow! I feel better about some of my umpiring mistakes. I truly do. So CT, what you? So I know you move these boys oh, yeah. up. Yep, that was my move, and then they are not in the face of the enemy, correct? So affirmative. Sorry, I forgot that. Um, I'm going to pass it back to Ron. You're up, Ron. Ron goes silent. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a movement.
Alrighty. Alright. If you pay the point, that's in the face of the enemy. CT, you're up. Alright. Um... Kempt is going to move. First, we'll prolong these guns. These guys are already volleyed, correct? Correct. Hmm. Take your shot with your skirmy here. I'm going to move them. He's going to move, so you get one shot. One for force. Got him. You've only got two inches. Thank you. I keep forgetting about that. Ooh, I love to dance a little sidestep. They see me now, they don't, I'll come and go. I mean, you're already moving where I can to step, so if you want to move in, it's up to you. No, they're fine there. I already moved in your face anyways here. Wait a minute. They can't move. Hemp. Oh, yeah, they can. I forgot your artillery. All right. That is Kempt. And so you'll pay that and you'll pay. Yep. And Ron, it's over to you. Bombard. It's one unit. All right. Yep. Three. Four. Four, four, four. Are you inside uh, canister range? No, you're not. Two. Two for four. Next, after you've paid your point. All right, movement, uh, charge. Oh, movement? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Bless you. Is that it? Ryan, did you go muted? Yeah, no, no, I'm taking. Oh, I'll sorry. Maybe I want to prolong the guns or not. Nah, I keep them there. Alright. Alright, that's it. So the blues three ouch. And the Hussar is five. Five to three. Even in my favor I find a way to lose. Oh no. No no. no. So uh, two difference. So Defender outscored by two. Yeah, it's a stagger each. Uh, not a stagger each, a disruption each. And uh, he has to stagger. This takes you to four. So that means, CT, you got to go back two inches after I give you your thing here. All set. All right. Am I on my unit or the river? Uh, you're on the river. Okay. You're good. And CT, it's back to you. All right, we'll do formation change. All right. I'll start over here. I'm just making sure you've been paying for your points, CT. Yes. Wow. This should just be my third order. So I need oh, to Oh, it's true. That's true. Ryan did a lot of stuff, didn't he? Ron, you did many things. Yes. Now CT gets to do many things. Nothing the French like more than seeing the uh, British kick out into line. Yeah. You said I could hang uh, a guy in the water. He just can't shoot. Correct. Couldn't shoot anyway because he'd be shooting in front well, of Well, yes. Yeah. I think that's all my formation changes. I gotta pay. And back to Ron. Movement order. Mm -hmm. The garrison cannot leave. Yeah, yeah, he just, he was like, I wanna go too. I wanna go too, it seems like fun. From your center. We got anything else going here? Are we done? No, I'm just checking out centers here. Oh, okay. Remember, it's from your center, though. Right? 
Not from his. Oh, side, okay. It's from yours. So aim it runs dead center, and that's what she's he what he's got to worry about is that. Alrighty. Well, it's Amelia then. I like that they're simple anyway. Should be a five to five, I think. I'm trying to remember what resilient does. Yeah, I remember. Five to five. Nine to eight. Defender is outscored by one. He staggers. Uh, yeah, he ju actually he doesn't even stagger. He just disrupts, and then uh, Ron takes a disrupt and a stagger. Uh, so what? Oh yeah. You, you go back. Yeah, because you're still engaged. This is the standard thing. You bounce. All right, CT, you're up. All right, we'll do a move order on the cab over here. All right. And I, I can move two inches when I'm within his dock, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's enough to get these guys out of the way. Well, the thing is, if you're getting them out of his range, like say you moved them this way, you can move them with a full move. Ah. But it's a point for interpenetration, isn't it? Yeah. He's going to have a complication no matter what he does. Well, I'm trying to move them so these guys can charge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your your best bet is going to... Well, you could probably get him clear and try the two-inch clear, which is fine. That's, that's enough. Just barely, but it's enough. That's a th this is going to cost you three. Correct. Mm -hmm. Any other two? It's only two inches. You're coming pretty easily into range. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And this guy was in range too, wasn't yep. he? Mm -hmm. It's eight inches. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. All right, now let me pay. And then we roll. Five to four. In favor of CT. Nine. Nine. Tie. It's been a while since we had a draw. Uh, tied or greater. Uh, cavalry. Why is that? What's that star mean? It's a disrupt. And a disrupt and a stagger. So you stagger CT and take a disruption. Ron, you take a disruption. Currently a very intense slappy fight. Ron, your turn. I'm out. CT, you're up. Um, would like to volley. 
All right. Start where? Oh dear, yeah. Uh, that's uh, they got that. They do six dice for fours. Three, three dice for fours. That shakes him. Actually, not to not to friggin' just gonna hurt me. Isn't it eight dice for them? Isn't it two per base because of the rapid fire? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, two more. Math apparently is difficult. Thanks, Ron. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, Merry Christmas for that. Two more for fours. And they're wiped out. Oh, and gone. Ron, you're a good sport. I appreciate it, but that's that's rough. Oh yeah, friggin' British line and friggin' this yeah. That's, friggin well, that, that's why that is why he bum rushed you. To be honest, can I shoot volley at the garrison? How does that even work? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You volley at the garrison, and they get a downshift. Can I even see him? Yeah. They that's sure. Yes, you're everywhere. You are everywhere in the garrison. You're everywhere. <laughs> you are everywhere in the garrison. You're 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 popping out of every little window and doing all that other stuff. You're just harder to hit. I mean, you got to be able to. Yeah, that's range. But just these three bases. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for fives. Two, two for fours. Yeah, two for fours. One. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's, I mean, it's pretty well straight across. The only question is, does this guy have range? I, mean, I don't think he does. No, he does not. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six for fours. Four. Four for fours. Oh, wow! Uh, the first thing to get rid of the yeah. friggin' mm -hmm. skate. All, all right, that's the end of the volley. That's volley and mm -hmm. my last point, bombard. All right, that's gonna be basically here. Can this one see over the head at the? Nope, there's no shooting over. No shooting. Oh, you can't over. shoot over. Okay, no sh no and shooting. forty-five. Can you see that or no? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, that's fair. Which one first? What's that for? Three for four. That's two, and we'll do this one next. Another three for four. So a total of three. Three for six. Nope. Alright, that That's is it. all she wrote, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, no more reinforcements. Takes us to turn five. Uh, both of you have three brigades. Both of you have your baggage, so you start with five. Generals for momentum, yeah? Yes. One, yes. D one D6. For you, that's three run. Oh, there's a turn of events. One for CT. All right, let's go around the room and count what we got here. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen for the British. How much for the French? Eighteen. Eighteen to fifteen. That's still a lot of dice. Yeah, it is. Three to two? Yeah, still only one by one. You may give one unit the skirmies run. This uh, may have to be the last turn for me, Fair looking enough. at the clock. Fair enough. I figured we were getting there. All right. 
And Ryan, you have the first move. All right, move charge order. Move, okay, go ahead. Mm -mm. No sale. All right, change my mind. Actually, no, I don't. Pow. Got it. Anybody else from Bruno? All righty. That's it. All right. <clears throat> Bruno... Three, Somerset, three, difficult terrain, three and three. Eight to four, that's a kill. Got me. Ron, you get Yay. a huzzah. Do you wish to use it to take off a disruption or make yourself eligible to move again? Disruption. CT, your turn. Um, let's see. We are going to... In fairness, Ron, I gotta put one disruption back on because I did not take the one off. You have to take even if you win. Right. So you stay at three. Yeah, I'm gonna. Activate the horses over here. <laughs> Very good. The horses. Hey, hey, boo boo. All right, you tell me if this is illegal, but I'm going to try 45 and hit him. Yeah, I think you're going to get him. Now you're going to have to go again. You have to turn more than that. That's 15, 30. Nope, do it again. You have to give me a... Yeah, there you go. Alright. But does he hit his base before he hits mine? I'm not sure that that pivot's right. Okay. Was he here? Yeah. That's what it is. What that leads to is, does he get you? And yeah, he does. Barely, but he does. All right, and I paid my three for that. Mm -hmm. This is the convoluted one. Ron, why don't you do yours first? Uh, I think you're just a straight three, yeah. Eight, good number. 
So CT, you're going to be up one for the out number, but down one for the terrain, so you're a four. Okay, that's... My luck is gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, resolve, resolve attacker. Yeah, you just lost. Because that was eight to... If, if I'm doing my math right, you had a four, and you rolled a what, CT? One. Six. Oh, it's a six. So it's six to eight. So, okay. Okay. All right, so then we'll do this one over here right away before we do any comparisons. Ooh, but he's a two. He does outnumber, so he's a three. So, here we go. My roll? Yeah. Yep. Each one gets its own roll. Mm -hmm. That's a six. So Ron wins both. Uh, so we resolve the defender first. You were outscored by neither. Tighter, greater, you disrupt. The kids. Yeah, so they each only get. They only each get disrupt and a stagger. Yep, that's the worst they can get. So we'll just do this. All right, Ryan, you're up. My other one stagger too. Yep. I'll yep. I'll get him. Okay. All right. I'm gonna bombard. All right. From over there and over there. Which one you want first? Uh, that is three for four. Two. Give me a sec. Bringing in my toys. I realize there's a reason for this now that I'm looking at it. Oh, I still got to do three for six, right? Yep. Next. Four for four. Four for six. Okay. Any other bombardment? Yep. This guy. Yeah, right over here. Oh. You have to veer it. You'll get him. Just barely, but you'll get him. Four for four. Four Just for the six. One. Man, bunch of sixes in there. Yeah, let's see. Back here. All right, let's hit. get back over here. So that's four for fives. Nothing. Nothing. Doesn't get the kill. Oh, that's hard to take. Two for fives. One. Could have used that one. Yep. Oh, these guys are staggered, though, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Shaken. Or shaken. That's done, right? Alright. Alright. One. For fours? Yep. Nope. One for four. And no. Okay. 
You artillery suck. You're next. You still got it. One volley. Yeah, there was that, and he was not outscored by three or more, Chrono. That's what, that's what we were looking at. He was outscored by two. Doing a volley, you got the one. Yeah. Six for four. This last guy can't hit. Is he in the water? Oh, he's out. He can't even go straight ahead. Nope. Nope. Five for four. Nice. Three. Three for four. Uh, one. All right. Next. One shot down the hill. You got a volley. Yeah. One for four. That's all I got for those volleys. CT, you're up. All right. Um, we'll move. We'll go ahead and move pack. Okay. Gonna prolong his guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they want their honorary red leg card back. No kidding. Remember, it's to his center. So. Not this uh, turn, but uh, when I change formation, can I go from march to line? Or yep. do I have to go through? Yep. Okay. Yep, sure can. That was packed. Your and turn, Ron. Yep.
Hmm. Moving order. Here he comes again. Alrighty. Only the one, right? Huh? Only yeah, the only one. the one me like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five to four. Ten to seven. Ten to seven breaks. That 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 paid. You get a huzzah run. Yay. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the disruption that's going to come my way. Uh, let's make sure it is. Yeah, I rolled an odd. Oh, that's it. Okay, so you'll just ignore that. Got it. And no more skirmies. Back to you. All right, I'm going to do a formation change. All right. And I have to go two on one side, one on the other, correct? You don't. Like. You do not. Oh. It's amazing how free these rules are. But because you're not an animal, you're going to move that flag to its proper location. Of, of course. Can they facing change at all during that? I forget. Yes. Mm -hmm. How how do you rotate that without gaining? You, like messing up. <laughs> well, you just what you do is you grab it, you grab the whole critter, like this one here, or that one there. What that you do, one. You grab the whole critter. What you do is you click and hold, kind of dead center of the unit. You like that. Okay. The other oh. way though. Yeah. I don't know if I can. That's just if you, you do that. That's that's that is a move at that point. Okay. I mean that's fine. That, that's what I was wondering. All right, yeah. that works then. Yeah. Right. And then you're still formation changing. Yeah.
All right. That's all my formation changes. All right. Ron, back to you. I got to pay. Yep. Back to you, Ron. Ah, uh, pass. Back to you, CT. I would like to live volley. All right. Starting left or right? Start left. Okay. Up there. Yeah. Two, six. Uh, six for fives. Eight for fives. Wow. These guys aren't going anywhere fast, I guess. Uh, uh, four. Four for fours. Nothing. Six for fours. Wow. That that was a spectacular run of bad luck. And maybe one or two can reach. What it is... It's actually better than that for you. No, they can all get them. Because here's the deal. It's supposed to be a zone that you can tilt 45 degrees left and right. So don't do that. Do this instead. Put your uh, put your marker here and draw it out eight inches, and I'll move mine here and put it out eight inches. That's what it is. So that's short. Nope, nope. Make it even. Run. There you go. So that's short. How about this one? There you go. That's got him. So six, six for fours. Wow, that time you got it. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Back over here for UCT. Two for fours. Nothing. Come over here. One for four. Yes. And over here, five for fours. Oh, sorry, that was four. I need one more. Mm -hmm. How many was that? Two total. Two. Mm -hmm. All right. That was your volley. Back to you, Ron. Rally. Uh, is he? Yeah, they're within. Remember, he just shot at me. So. Oh yeah. Uh, therefore, two for two for fours. Got one. Got one. No one permanent. All right, that's it for you, CT. Is it only one, or it could oh, be the whole brigade? It's the force, as long as you're in range. Which you are. Yeah, all right. And uh, do, 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 do two for force. One again. One again. Okay. Anybody else? I think they're all... Okay. CT? All right, uh, my last one, I will bombard. All right. Um, 
he's got oh, no shot. I don't think, yeah, he, he can't see. Yep. He does. Uh -huh. So he's got uh, three for fours. And who does he shoot at? She'll hit this guy and this guy. Alright. That is three for fours. And three for sixes. Okay. Back we go. Uh, CT, one for six. Over here, one for four. And over here, one for five. There you go. Well, oh, very good. That's it. That is all the points. Uh, let's remind ourselves that it is the sixth turn now when we get back to whenever we can to get back to this. Uh, we have cleaned off all the markers, except obviously the ones that stay. We, we're good. We're good with that. I think we are. Yes. Um, so I, I guess I'm curious, what do you think of the use of the voltageurs over against the, uh, momentum advantage? I like the voltageurs and that, that definitely makes things a little bit more strategic where to put them. I like them. It's a fun flavor thing, but yeah, it actually does add a little twist. Yeah, it's a, it kind of, to me, I think it's great because it makes you make, like like Ron said, it makes you make some pretty tricky choices. Um, and Huzzah is just a, Huzzah is very, very, it's a very, very light touch. And why why wouldn't you have Huzzah, to be honest? Right. I mean, we've only used it twice, so. You know, it's 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 a rare enough thing. Um, the marker, you, I suppose you would need the marker if you had a bigger combat sequence, but certainly in a smaller battle. Wow, so even though in a smaller battle, LaSalle's got tough choices. I like it. I like it about that. So this is turning out to be a fun bat little battle. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. This is far more fun to me watching it and running it and watching it being played than is a Blucher small battle. The Blucher, yes. the, the Blucher big battles rock the world. I mean, they're, they're great. But Blucher little battles are just not that good. They're not that interesting. This has a ton of, you know, there's there's three, frankly, little stories going on here. We're getting towards the end of this cavalry fight that's shaped up over here. God knows, and I know what Ron's doing. I mean, he's not. He's just not going to let the British come over here and shoot him to pieces, so he's coming in. And over here, you've got the, you know, the 95th has been here since the beginning of the game, sort of working their way and holding down these two battalions of the 54th line. So a lot of really, really good stuff going on. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Well, actually, I'm holding them down because, remember, this is the objective. True. No, 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 I understand. But this 95th Rifles has been just outside of the range, you know? I know. And that's what I've been happy about. Yeah. It's, stay there. Yeah, you stay over there. <laughs> you stay over there, Mr. Guy. Well, very good. Okay. I Stay uh, there, Sharp. <laughs> yes, yeah, just you you park yourselves. One thing I should check and I really should have done a better job of this. Uh can we get a can we get a casualty count please? The British lost this Oh, one. I've lost a lot more. The British lost this one here. I'm going to put them on their bases. The British lost that one there, so that's two. Uh the British lost this first battalion 55th line. I'll put them back on the base. Where are the other French that have been killed? We should create a kill pile. Because that is, by the way, one of the ways that the game can end. I lost three is three. Those three, so it's three to two, so it's not that dreadful. Uh, there is a sudden death defeat where you lose one third of your units. You know, where one third of your total units goes down. So you're you're still a chunk of distance away from that, but it's. Uh... Although I don't know, let me think for a second. See, the British are looking at one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then they had 14, 15. So yeah, they got five. How many you got, Ron? Counting guns. I have 10 on the field, plus the three I lost. So 13. So what's one third of 13? Math is hard. Uh, Four. Yeah, yeah. It'd be four. So yeah, one more. And bronze army's going to break. Is that right? Is that all you've got? One, two, three. Oh, no, I got 15. There you go. So it's five. It's five and five. So you're two from yeah. break. You're two from breaking, and CT is two. For, yeah, you're both. You're both two from, and CT is three. Three. Yeah. So, so you know this game is is far far along is what it is to be honest, but CT's got this uh, very very shaky bit of cavalry. He's probably gonna have to get out of dodge and some other stuff. So, um, it'll be an interesting story whenever we can get back to it. And of course, I cannot forget to save it. This is a fun rule set. Yeah, it's, yes. it, it kills me. And Ron and I have talked about this. It's like I can't decide between this and Shaco. I go back and yeah. forth. Um, they both had their their little nuances, but you know, I'm really beginning to like the style too. You know, more and more. Yep, yep. It's it's got so much. It's got so much, and it plays well. It plays fluidly. Most importantly, unlike my beloved Shaco, it gets out of its own way. Yes. You know, it's it's pretty obvious what you're supposed to do in most situations, and uh, that's really cool. Well, anyway, it's late. We know it's late. Let me just see if anybody hung around for the end of it. Um, yeah, take care, Potbelly Slim. Take care, Red. And uh, a pleasure to have you all by. Thanks, everybody who watched. Thanks for everybody who comes by later. As always, like and subscribe and all the other things. We really do appreciate it. We will be back Saturday night. These two gentlemen playing on the same side as we wrap up, we think, Darlone's attack for LaSalle 2. Same rule set. Much bigger battle for Saturday Night Fights. And then we'll be back for all sorts of crazy stuff next week. So anyway, thanks so much.